Well, a very good morning. Thanks for clicking on to the Thursday edition of Vogan's US Outlook. We've seen a dramatic uh, past few days in California's Sierra Nevada mountains. We've seen Mammoth Mountain receive upwards of 20 feet of snow for the month of January thus far, which sets a new all-time monthly record. And we've also seen epic snowfall across many other parts of the Sierra Nevada as well in and around the Lake Tahoe region. We're seeing a brief spell of more settled conditions, high pressure building in to the western side of the uh, continent now. Uh, so California is going to catch a break. But uh, the most important aspect to this snowfall is the water content, which will have significant impacts on reservoirs around California as we go into the spring months and the dry summer month. It is going to be very, very important indeed, this snowfall. But uh, more on the California snow in the written post later on today. But we do have a, a snow system now pushing across the uh, across the Midwest and into the upper portion of the Northeast. Ridge of high pressure built overhead. But uh, albeit this is chilly air, it is... Um, Pacific chilled air, so it's not um, Arctic air, so the source region isn't overly cold. Um, but certainly it will be a chilly upcoming five days. This is the GFS uh, 500 millibar height anomalies for the five day means. And the six to ten day, uh, you can see here that the, the um, chart represents not a huge amount of depth to that trough here it's kind of stretched out west to east here it's kind of washed out so to speak with the positive here extending from southern california all the way towards louisiana and mississippi however um there is a fairly substantial ridge of high pressure built into alaska here but the fly in the ointment really is this upper low here sitting off the uh, west coast uh, it looks as if it's keeping heights a little bit uh, higher here across the uh, lower 48, but that remains to be seen here because uh, the Mullen hasn't held the long term very well indeed. And uh, with this big, strong ridge of high pressure built up uh, over Alaska into the Arctic region here, it wouldn't surprise me if because of the build up of cold here over northern North America, that this trough is somewhat deeper. Could we have a deeper trough? With this feature here, east of Hawaii, west of California, is this potentially going to be further east joining forces with this ridge, or should I say this trough over the lower 48, perhaps representing a deeper trough? That remains to be seen, but uh, it looks as if as we push towards the 11 to 15 day that we do start to resume somewhat of a more unsettled pattern, I think, but there is definitely elements here that with the strat warming that's taking place within the Arctic at the moment, the cold that we're seeing over the northern portion of Canada at the moment, we're going to see the, thing, the warmth in the stratosphere transfer to the troposphere, join forces with already colder over Canada. And we'll, I believe we could see another major shot of Arctic air into the lower 40 with this current setup here. So remaining fairly chilly in the eastern side of the country, but of course Pacific origin cold so it's not overly overwhelmingly cold for the time of the year but certainly it's chilly nonetheless and we are seeing snow uh, to the west and north of the big cities of the n to five so that's it for today do check out the written post available later on i'll be back in the next couple of days thanks for watching bye for now